Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. What's going on? Um, I moved to Columbus. <laughs> I'm in Columbus now and maybe I'll talk about that in another video, but today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of some crystals that I got. I have been un impatiently, unpatiently been waiting to open the box. So it's like midnight now and we're making the video. <laughs> my cats are running around if there's any weird noises like or like if the camera stops that's why so yeah let's just get started <laughs> this is a big box <laughs> this is like one of the biggest boxes that I've got from apothecary of crystals on Instagram she does these lives it's basically like a live auction and you bid on things and if she calls your name then you get them it's like first come first serve but I got a lot of stuff so I want to unbox them. I'm excited. I have 19 items on my inventory, so it might be a long video. Let's just go for it. I'm so excited. This is a huge box. So what she did for this live was she, she usually like typically for four hours, she goes through crystals, sometimes jewelry, sometimes like big pieces, little pieces. It just depends. And this time she went through her shop where she owns like a little small boutique where she sells like really fun items, including more crystals, and I just went crazy. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Okay, so her little freebie bag, she always gives freebies. I got a cute little mushroom. I'll open it up maybe. Oh, it's like a little styrofoam mushroom. And this little freebie, really pretty. I'm gonna guess this is like amethyst or something. I don't know. She doesn't send invoices with the the freebies or anything, so you always just gotta guess. But that's that little freebie gift. Okay, first thing I'm grabbing. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Oh, I know what this is. Okay, this is a bath bomb. <laughs> And it's pink and orange, which I love. It's glittery. It is Venus Rebirth Rose Quartz. Helps with compassion and unconditional love. It's just a bath bomb, and I believe it has a little tiny crystal in there. I think it must be Rose Quartz in there. So I think that's super fun. I always love a good bath bomb. Look at that. It's like glittery. Can you tell? Okay. That's the first thing I got. That was part of her shop where she went shopping and you just pick stuff out. I got these fairy incense because obviously they're pink and they're fairies. Let me try some of these. Mmm. I wonder if the incense are pink. Like, I don't know if I need to really open up every single item like I'm doing right now, but I want to see if the incense are pink. They're not. Oh, it's not very strong. It's not like a super strong smell. Smells good. Next thing is I got these cute little like postcards. I've never got a postcard from her, but she gave me a little fairy postcard. That's adorable. And this must be like her logo or like business card or something because it has her website. So check her out on Instagram. This next thing I got is kind of silly. It's an it's a hex breaker. Um, it's an aromatic herb bath hex breaker. I don't know. If you feel like you've been bewitched, you can always take a soak and no longer. I don't know, it's kind of novelty. I thought it was funny. It was like five bucks. Oh, what is this? I think this is free. What is this? I don't think I bought this. Hi. Did I buy this? What is this? Okay, well, she sent another little... A freebie that's cool this is a protection oil I'm assuming it's like an like an essential oil but it's for protection that's cool that's cool I didn't buy that she sent this to me Ooh, smells witchy that's really cool thank you love that and then it came with a little like I don't know what that's for <laughs> Maybe dip it in the oil or something and let it sit out. I don't know. 
That's really fun. I love freebies. Oh my god, I got so much good stuff in here. It's like overwhelming. Oh, this is what I'm excited about. This is really cool. Okay, so <laughs> the next thing I got, which I'm really excited about. Ooh, the packaging kind of got messed up, but this is Tokyo Milk Perfume. Another thing that she had just in her shop. You know, obviously this isn't crystal or crystal related really, but it's just all these different perfumes. The packaging did get a little wonky, but I was gonna buy one of these full size and I thought, why would I pay full size when I've never smelled them? And then I got the sample set of all of them. So let me smell one of these. This is the one I was gonna buy full size. It's called Dead Sexy. It's cute, isn't it? And I got all of these. I ran out of my like my favorite perfumes. So I needed a new one anyway. <laughs> mm, what is smell? Come smell it. I almost paid seventy dollars for this full size. It smells dead ass sexy, bitch. <laughs> it's deep vanilla, exotic wood, white orchid, and ebony smells. And then I got gin and rose water. Um, I would smell them all, but I feel like that's a lot. French kiss, mandarin, tuberose, gardenia, and vetiver. Mmm, I'm so excited about all these. I love it. Okay. Then I got let them eat cake. Kabuki, Honey, and the Moon. Okay, that's really exciting. I was really excited about that because my favorite perfume ever just ran out. I already said that. That's another one down. Next item. Oh, this is tiny. This is soap. It's Sun Child. Um, Sunstone, it has a little baby sunstone in there. That's why I got it because I love sunstone. Sunstone is all about freedom, self empowerment, and independence. And this stone can truly be the best companion stone. So I don't know what it smells like, but it's pretty. It's orange, it's glittery, and then you wash your hands and you get a little crystal. So that's cool. Next, oh, I think I know what this is. Damn, this should be wrapped pretty well. stuff smells good I feel like Ooh, this just like went all over me oops this is a resurrection plant I've heard about these I'm like I love plants I'm in the plant community you know I've heard of a resurrection plant um did not know it was like a a ritual or like a I don't know what like what the word is like ritualistic I don't know I didn't know that but apparently she said that you like get these wet and then they will open up which I knew that but then you take the water that's inside them and use them in place of like you know I don't know like in a spiritual way use the water that came from them I don't know it's interesting and it was like five dollars and I've seen these online but it kind of like smells like earthy like it almost smells like an incense you want to smell it so that's cool. I mean, I haven't done much research on it. I've just been waiting for this package. What could this be? What could this be? It's little. Oh, I know what this is. So this is a little jar full of peridot. It's like a light lime green, very pretty stone. And the funny thing is that I, I moved to Columbus now and my friend Palmer and I, we would watch her lives together and we would buy stuff and we were watching the live separately and we both got this and there were three of them. So it's just a little vial of peridot and I love a little light green stone. It's beautiful. So that's that. Okay, this next one is a very, very cute little tower. I knew what it was when I saw it. Wow, this is cool, isn't it? This is a moss agate and it's like green and it's like very dark green with like a milky look. There's like druzy little like glitter spots in it. I like that it's slim. It's pretty. I love it. And it was pretty inexpensive for a tower. I feel like it was a pretty good deal. All of her crystals are like ethically sourced. You don't ever have to wonder or like question if like what you're buying is valid or real or whatever. You know that it's all good. 
All good. Love that. That's very pretty. Moving on. Okay. I also, I got a book. I went ham. I went to her shop and was like, let me just buy one of everything because this is so cool. Um, this is this Essential Book of Pendulums. Divine Everyday Healing Answers. And this just basically goes and to explain pendulums and, you know, how they work and kind of what questions to ask, I'm assuming. I don't know. I think this is really cool. I have a, I have a pendulum. I have a pendulum board. And I just think this would be cool to answer more questions that I might come across. And speaking of that, I also got this cute as hell pendulum board. And if you don't know what a pendulum board is, it's like you have a little pendulum, which... I don't know where one is right now, but you hold it, you ask a question, and it like kind of sways and starts going in a direction. And then you have your answer. Ooh, I think this is a candle. Okay, this is Shy Wolf. The Empress Beauty, Nurturance, Fertility, Lavender, Coconut Milk. I kind of don't know what all that meant altogether. Hmm, smells good. But this is a really pretty candle. Um, I wanted something that would like maybe help with anxiety or like calming. I figured that this would be good. She had a bunch of different candles and I thought this would be the best for that. Do you want to smell it? it? Smells good. Justin said it has like kind of a fall, fall vibe and... September 8th today, so that's perfect. Yeah, I think that's cool. I wanted something to stop freaking the hell out all the time. All right, and we keep going, there's more. Okay, I think I know what this one is. I think this is Citrine, we're gonna find out. This is, this is my Kundalini Citrine. Wow, look at that. Let me take the sticker off. Wow, that's really pretty, isn't it? That's really cool. I love citrine. Citrine was the first crystal I ever gravitated to, ever. When I went to the store by myself, I went to a crystal store and I picked out citrine and it was the one I liked the most. That's so pretty. It's kind of hard to tell in the lighting, but I hope there's some rainbows in here. I already see a little bit, but oh yeah, there's a big rainbow right here. Can you see that right here? I just love it. The twin, like the twin peaks. I like that. That's really cool to me. So we're going to move along because I got some more stuff still. Two for one, baby. What is this? I'm going to cut my finger off. Oh my God. I forgot about this. Like, do I even have to say anything else? It's like a little witch's cauldron. It's like a little cauldron. That's so cute. This might be the last crystal. I have a few more other items, but this is the last crystal. Oh, so cute. So tiny. This is not adorable. It looks like grapes to me. It's literally called grape spirit quartz. Maybe that's why it looks like grapes to me. Looks like a little fruity pebble or something. That's really cute. Grape spirit quartz. So glittery. There's like little points. That was the last crystal that I got that was not jewelry. And now I got a bunch of jewelry, mostly rings. I think all rings maybe. Let's look. I just, I do too much sometimes, I seriously. I literally just got a job yesterday. <laughs> I've lived here for two months and I just got a job. I do too much. Ooh, this is pretty, had to get it. This is a kunzite ring and it matches my kunzite pendant. Like I, I seriously, like I had to get this. Ugh, dude. How does that look on the camera? Are you kidding me? That's so pretty. I'm never going to take that off my finger. Kunzai. I love Kunzai. It's beautiful. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Okay, the next one I have is Rose Quartz. And 
Ooh, it's tight fit, tight fit. Hopefully this will come off. I, you can't pass up a rose quartz ring, especially one that looks this freaking cool. I love rose quartz. It's a classic, love it. It's beautiful. And I love statement rings. I like rings that I don't have to take off. These are all sterling silver. I can leave them on in the shower. Don't worry about it. Like, I appreciate that. This is a little snug for this finger though. I have to put it on this one. Except that one looks so good on that finger. It is hot in here too. I'm sweating. Maybe that's why they're hard to get on and off. I want this one right here because this is beautiful. Right next to the aquamarine. I got this aquamarine one from Justin. And this is Labradorite from another box that I got. I love it. Okay, I'm not even done yet. The jewelry is always my favorite part. I... I just think it's so cool to like wear crystals and I just think it's cool to like have them with you all the time and make your fingers look nice and your neck. I have all this stuff on. This is this is Kunzite Gemlapetalite Gemlapetalite and then this is just like a cool pendant. Ooh! This is cool looking. Wow, I have all these statement rings now. This is, I don't remember what this one is. Awihi, Awihi Opal Ring. I'm not sure, but I'm talking about this one here in the middle. That looks so cool. All the rings that she had on the sale were half off. They were 50% off, and I've paid full price for some of these things. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy every single one. All right, this last one, I know what it is. And once again, I was on the live and so was Palmer, my friend Palmer. She, she's on the channel actually. She's like in a couple videos, but um, she got one of these. And then the next one that popped up, I was like, yeah, I'm getting one too. And this is Sue Delight. And this is, I thought this was really unique. It like, I want to wear them all at once. Sue Delight, it's like, I think the band is really cool. Can you see it? The band, it's like a very dark purple and I feel like the band looks really interesting. Cause sometimes they're more plain, like some of these other ones are kind of plain, the band, but really pretty. I love it. It fits on my thumb. I got all my fingers dazzled up now. I love it. And the final thing, this was kind of an impulse. I guess they all were, but I thought this was so freaking cool. I had to get it. You guys know those necklaces that people wear and it's like gothic font and it's a year, like sometimes the year you're born, the year someone you love is born, I don't know, 2020, your favorite year of the, your life, who knows. This is a very beautiful gold dainty necklace that I love, I love gold, I love dainty, I love necklaces, but look at the year. Can you see it? It is 1692, the year of the Salem Witch Trials. I just think that is so cool. I want to wear this right now, actually. You know, with all my other pendants on, why not throw this on there, too? That's super cool. A few things that I was most excited for was this necklace, this Kunzite ring, and the perfume. So, I'm happy with everything that I got. I think it's all really, really fun and really cool. So... Alright, so that is the end of the haul. I got so much stuff. I I need to take a break. I say that every single time I buy her stuff. Every time I'm like, alright, that's it. I'm done. Um, but like, how are you going to pass on these rings? I'm sorry. They're freaking everything. And it's like, if you... I could go on and on and justify why I want to go on her lives every freaking time she does it. But... Um, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Um, I would love if you would comment down below, like, your favorite thing that I got, or if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. I don't have all the answers to everything, but maybe I'll, like, put them on board. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but, um, the silliest thing I got for sure was the hex breaker. I mean, I've been trying to get into, like, learning more about witchcraft and getting into it, but... I don't know if that was necessary. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. 
comment below. <laughs> like the channel, subscribe the video. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, if you noticed, I did get a new camera. Like, this is my boyfriend's camera and he's letting me use it. And I love it. It's so much fun. It feels like real YouTube. I love it. So, if you love the quality, give it a big old thumbs up and we'll maybe record it with some more. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Uh